Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing hardcore career mode again, and as you guys can see, we are on our hand cranked vessel. And honestly, this thing has done wonders. We've found the refinery, which means that we now have access to fuel. However, the problem with that is uh, it's quite far away, so we're gonna have to get our boat, our diesel boat, drive all the way to that, fill it up with diesel, and then come back and hopefully build ourselves a, uh, a tank that we can store the diesel in. Or, we just take our boat, fill it up with diesel, drive it around as much as we can to do missions, and then when we bring it back, we can just leave it out the side, and um, yeah, retrieve our diesel from the ship itself, and just leave it there. Um, if we decide to actually build something new. We're like, I, I guess a truck or something like that, uh, but we'll see. But anyway, we're not that far away from home now. As you guys can see, it is literally right there. I have spent a little while doing this, uh, probably about an hour, going from there, oh wait, from here downwards. Uh, and obviously last time we survived a tsunami, so if you guys didn't see the last video, we survived a tsunami in this thing. Would you have thought that? Probably not, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I started this video thinking that I was- I was close enough to my base, but um, no. I still am not at the location close enough to my base to be able to uh, return it back to the workbench. But that's okay, we are- we are very close now, you can- you can just about see it. Uh, it's very dark for you guys though, isn't it? It is extremely dark for me as well, but it's not as dark as it is for you. It should be like pitch black for you, but you should be able to see the lights on the horizon of the base. Uh, also the uh... The flashlight there, oh, the big light's there. Uh, the lighthouse is just there, and uh, the buoy that doesn't do anything is uh, right there. But yeah, we're almost home. As soon as it says return to workbench, I'm going to go ahead and do it. There it is! Nice! So we made it! We've made it all the way back. So now what we have to do is drive from here all the way to the refinery, and then back. Um, that's going to be a pain in the butt, but I guess we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is our vessel right here. Obviously, we are going to be using this to go to the refinery. Uh, what I'm going to do on here is... Oh, I, I, la, la, la. I didn't save it last time. I can't have saved it last time because we don't have all the refueling stuff. Um, that's a problem. Uh, oh, we don't even have the, the... I didn't save it, so now we need to put the, uh, the big tank back in. However, it might actually work better if we just use this. Do we have the add thing? We don't have an add thing. That's annoying. Um, right, okay. We're gonna modify this boat to make it work for the journey. Alright, so I decided to just add the fuel tank back in. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than it was previously, but that's okay. So, we're gonna get some fluid ports. Uh, and we're just gonna go and smash them straight on it here, that's fine. So, one there, and one there. Obviously, we've got the four engines now, so that's pretty good, uh, for us. I don't know how well it's gonna work, though, with the four engines, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, this is gonna go from here all the way to the end now, pretty much, so to there. We're going to delete these guys down to here. We want as much room in here as we possibly can. So that's why I'm doing that. We're also going to go ahead and uh, delete a little bit here. So delete this and this. Delete that and that. And what we'll do is actually add a bit of a barrier around the outside. And essentially what this will be is uh, a little bit of room where the tank goes up into the surface a little bit more. And allows us to actually get closer to the, the surface. That makes sense. Alright, good. We're good. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to go ahead and build off this side real quick. And we're going to go ahead and smash one of these directly onto here like this. There we go. Good. Delete that again. Awesome. Uh, we can actually delete all the way around the edges too. Because they don't need to be there anymore. And uh, that is fantastic. Except actually we need these pieces. There we go. That bit and that bit. Very good. So, now we can come down into here. And that is excellent. Very nice. So, fluid pots. Get them back on there again. There we go, excellent. And we should be able to refuel this thing into there. Let's get a pump on each side. Actually, no. We'll get a pump on one side, and then on the other side we don't need a pump. So, uh, for out, we're going to have a pump. For in, we're not going to have a pump, and that's going to be okay. Hose, let's do this. Go and smash that directly onto there. We'll uh, put an actual hose in here. One, two, three, there we go. Grab ourselves an actual hose, whack it straight into there, and there we go. Nice. Put one of these guys up here. Get ourselves a button. And put that guy right here. There we go, good. And then we should be able to connect this onto the pump. Uh, connect all of these guys together and then to the electricity. And that is mighty fine. We're then going to go inside. We're going to grab some of these. And we're going to put two more of these on. Because I think we should. 
There you go, just a slight like spare batteries. Uh, they'll give us a little bit more, and that'll be perfect. There we go, to there, up to there, this guy down to there. We're going to connect these guys together up to there, and we're also going to actually connect all of these, even though it might not be, might, might not be useful. Uh, we're going to connect them all together anyway. We're going to connect that as well, and then all of these guys, and that should be excellent. So, what are we thinking then? What are we thinking we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and drive this thing up to the refinery, fill it up, and get out of there. That's all I want to do. So, spawner, let's go ahead and grab one. There we go, whack it in here. Uh, meter, let's go ahead and grab one of those and whack it on there. We need some dials to make sure we know what everything is doing. Even, like, all of the engines. So, dials, let's do this. All of the engines should pretty much be the same, but we're going to have a, an RPS for each of them. Uh, and we're going to do this. So, this one's going to be speed. Obviously, we don't have a speedo right now. This one's going to be uh, RPS 1. Okay. We're going to have fuel, fuel, there we go, and we're also going to have a uh, battery, there we go, battery, battery, good, attach all these guys together, excellent, attach that down to there, we're going to connect this guy, uh, down to the batteries, excellent, we're going to connect the fuel down to the fuel, and we're going to connect the speed, ah, oh, the speed can't be connected, RPS1 is going to go to here, there we go, uh, then we need RPS2, um, yep, and we're gonna delete these two, and we're gonna have this go here, this go here, and unfortunately that means I've deleted the button. Let me go ahead and get over the button again, put it right in there like that, connect this directly to this, get the electricity again, make sure everything's connected. There we go, everything seems to be connected, and that is awesome. I'm gonna connect those two as well. So, that's RPS 1, we're gonna have RPS 2 right here, RPS 3 right here. And RPS4 right here. There we go, good. We're going to raise this up to like 30, I guess. The max amount is going to be 30. Uh, because a lot of you guys do want me to start adding the uh, the max value on the dials. So I will. Uh, I don't know how much fuel is going to be in there. Let's go with 1,500 for now. There's going to be more than that. Nine. Let's go with 10,000. There we go, 10,000. Uh, and then the battery will stay as is. Okay, that's fine. Good. So everything is connected, I do believe. Uh, the engines should all be on the starters, which I believe they are. Uh, one isn't starting this one, though, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. So one is starting all of them. Two should be reverse on all of them. Hopefully I have got that plumbed in. I think I do. Excellent. And then what else have we got going on here? What else have we got going on? Up and down is the clutches. Oh, no, it's the throttle. W and S is the clutches. Um, and that's it. I think that's all we need. Yeah, okay, right. So, we've got all of that in. That is fine. However, um, I need to be able to move this thing around if we come into issues. Let's say we run out of fuel halfway there. So, what we're going to have to do in that situation is... Oh, God, what are we going to do in that situation? Let me get a throttle as well. It'll be easier to control the, uh, the, the, the actual throttle. So, connect this to the throttle. Here we go. And that's fine, there we go, that's fine, that's fine, and that's fine. Okay, so that's going to be for the actual throttle. Let me get rid of the up and down. Uh, oh, WNS? I don't know which one it is. Don't know. All uh, right, okay, cool. So we're going to have to add a... Uh, a little thing that allows us to push ourselves along if we have issues. So what we're going to do is bring this into Kia. We're going to grab one of these. And we're going to put this right here like this. Okay, pretty strange, but sure, for right now that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and send it in a big straight line forwards. Yep, just like so. And we're going to bring it upwards again, just like so. We're going to then bring it straight up here and send it backwards from there like, uh, like this. There we go. And send it backwards until a point where we need it to come upwards into here. So what we'll do is we'll have it go into there. I know that's really strange. But it'll be fine. So that goes there, then it goes across one. Not like that. Like that, there we go. And then it goes upwards, like so. And then we'll have the crank in the floor. Okay. This is ridiculous, but it's fine. It'll move us extremely slowly, but it is worth having, I do believe. So, one, two, and three. Go ahead and get ourselves a gearbox. Yep. Push it into the engine. One, two, and three. And we'll go three to one, three to one, three to one. And hopefully we'll be able to push ourselves along using just this, um, which would be good. So there you go. 
All right, nice. Um, blah, 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 blah. With that being said, what do we want to do now? The gear ratios on this are already in. We're going to connect all of these to the electricity, because that's what we need. And we also need another crank that gives us electricity if we need it. So grab one of these, put it right there like that. That's fine. We're going to connect it to gearboxes. And just the same way this one does. And here we go. So one, two, and three. Okay, we can set these guys to three to one again. Three to one again. And three to one again. There we go. And get ourselves a generator on the end of that. Uh, in fact, pipes, we can have a few. So we can do it this way. Uh, one there like this. Another one there like this. And this one on the end like this. I want all the generators in the same place. So that makes sense. Gens, here we go. One, two, and three. I've spent a lot of fuel on generators. So I'm going to get rid of some of these ones. There you go. And put that there. And this one. Put that there. And there we go. So now... We have the ability to regenerate our electricity when we don't have an engine running. Excellent. That's really good, actually. That's, that's perfect. Uh, so, yeah, they're all three to one. They've all got electricity. That's fine. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, actually. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Why aren't these displaying anything? So, RPS 2 is for this engine. RPS 3 is going to be for this engine. And then RPS 4 is going to be for that engine. Yikes. And off we go. Spawn it in. Let's see how much fuel we start off with. 221. That is not enough fuel. That is not enough fuel to travel that far. How far do we have to go on that much fuel? Uh, so we've got 221 fuel and we have to go 11 kilometers. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Yikes. Alright, well, let's see if this works. See if it'll push us along anyway. Let's go. Yeah, it does push us along at a speed of, like, not very fast at all. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, right, is our battery connected? It is. Our fuel's still fine. Okay, so that's 221. If I spawn it in again, does it ruin things? I just spawned it in again and lost lost 30 fuel. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. How much fuel is left in this? we got 188 liters left in this. I think we're just going to have to go for it. If we make it there, we're going to be completely fine. If we don't make it there, I'm, I'm going to have a long, 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 long time trying to get this to work. Like, sailing it using this. I don't want to despawn it again because we'll lose our uh, stuff again. Ah, this is a problem. Also, it's night time. It doesn't matter, right? Okay, we're going. So, press 1. Oh, yikes. Okay, right. I didn't press... I didn't get... I didn't give that electricity, so now we are stuck. Uh, so, for out, we're going to go ahead and attach that real quick. Run. As quickly as I can, I need to get the air out of here. I mean, the diesel out of here to hopefully be okay. So, attach that onto there. All right, it's got 182 there, and it's got how much here? 190. Okay, pump out. Let's see if it works. All right, pump. Pump out. Pump in. I don't understand this game. All right, we're going to despawn it again. It means we're going to have less fuel, which is super duper annoying, but there's nothing I can do with this one. So let's go ahead and uh, and give it electricity if we can. There we go. Uh, and the other thing that we need is a bed. So let me get a bed real quick. Okay, excellent. We're going to put a bed in the middle, in the floor. And just delete this stuff. There we go. Put the bed right there. I don't know how much I need to delete. An extra one. There we go. Whack it there. Should be okay. Good. The other thing is I should probably put another one of these systems in. But I'm not going to. We're, we're going to risk it. Would you risk it for a chocolate biscuit? I wouldn't, but I'm going to have to. It's just dropped it by 30 again. Two of our engines aren't working. Two of our engines are not working. Our fuel... Should make, if we keep our RPS low, I don't know why two of our engines aren't working, but if we keep our RPS low, we might make it. There's no way we're going to make it. 
There is no way we're going to make it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. I despawned it. I despawned it. Two of our engines are not working and I'm not sure which ones they were, which is super duper annoying, but they have electricity. These have electricity. Uh, everything, everything has electricity around here, I do believe. Yes, okay. So why were they not running is the question. Are they not connected? They are? They are connected. Uh, the... This isn't, though. What's this supposed to be? Is this the exhaust? Ah, they don't have exhaust anymore. Okay, give them exhaust. Let's go. So do this one. There we go. Um, why... Why didn't it have exhaust? I have no idea. That's going to go there. I want them all to be the same, so they're all going to be like this. We're going to get a straight pipe and put it on there. A straight pipe, like this one. There we go. And put it on here. So that that works. Excellent. Right, we're good. However, we are not good because it doesn't work. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, so we're going to delete these engines for now. This one is, is not going to be there. Okay, we're going to run off two engines, uh, which is fine. That's okay. We're going to leave all of the pipes in so that we can eventually reattach it straight away. In fact, actually, so leave those there. Same on this side. Good. We're going to delete uh, the clutch and all of this bit. And also the clutch right here. And also all of this. Except we are now going to get a gearbox. Okay, smash it under there. Like this. One, maybe even two. There we go. Make that three to one. Make this three to one. Okay, this one three to one as well. There we go. And also this one, three to one. Get ourselves a motor. And attach it under there. And attach it under there, that's good. And what we'll do is we'll have a backup electric motor just in case we need it. So what we'll do is connect um, connect that motor to up and down. And that should allow it to work. So up and down, up and down, there we go. Connect all of these guys to each other. Connect all of these guys to each other and up to there. And I think that'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know. It's either this or turn the canoe into some sort of tanker canoe. But that, that's not a thing. So I don't know what to do. Oh, and we're going to add loads more batteries. Obviously, I've only got the little ones at the moment. But we're going to add like a battery bank of a million. Uh, hopefully not spending too much money on these. There we go. We'll go with that. So we've got 10,000 to spend on fuel. Hopefully this is enough batteries to get me there. I don't know whether it is. But we'll see. So all of this down to there. All of this up to here. There we go. Down to there. All of this. There we go. We've got everything connected in series. Uh, in series. we got everything connected. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Alright, how much fuel have we got this time? That was not good. The fact that the motor's turned on straight away, but sure. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, this is really bad. This is incredibly bad. That's ridiculous. Alright, you guys can't see anything right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Hopefully that doesn't drain our... It doesn't drain our fuel anymore. Is it going to? I don't think it did. Okay, we've got 11 kilometers to cover like this. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll try it, though. We'll see what happens. Uh, so we're going to point this in the right direction. I'm going to crank this, and hopefully we're going to replenish some of the battery. So that the electric motors can keep going. That would be brilliant. It's going down very slowly, so that's good, but... It is also turning to the side. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Right, guys, we got this. We totally got this. Point it in the right direction. I'll be back with you guys in a second. See how far we get. Alright, I figured we would catch back up, and uh, yes, we are we are catching back up. That is exactly what is happening. However, what is going on is we have almost run out of fuel. We've almost run out of battery, so that's good. Uh, and we are only... Well, we're seven and a half kilometers away. So actually, 
we're really far away still. I've been cranking this one that pushes us forwards, I've been cranking that one that allows us to generate electricity, and we are barely moving right now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep until there is no bad weather. Bad weather is really bad for this. So we're going to keep sleeping until we are uh, in some good weather times. Here we go, that seems actually a lot better. Uh, we are still cranking that. Let's go ahead and get back in our seat and crank this. Alright. Throttle up our, our thingamabobby. Our electric motors. And they're the things that we're going to be using. We're just going to use the electric motors. Obviously we have 26 liters of fuel left. But the electric motors are the things that we... <laughs> oh, we are so slow. We are so slow. This is going to take me an eternity to get there. This is ridiculous. Alright, so uh, I had to stop my computer for a second, and um, now I'm back, and honestly, uh, we, we've made it quite far. However, we've only got three fuel left, and uh, our battery's down to 14%, which isn't good, and uh, yeah, we're, we're almost about to stop. But we have made it halfway, so that's good, isn't it? We made it halfway. Excellent. <laughs> that's it, though. That's it. We're done now. We're done. We can't do anything else. I'm. What is that red light? Why is that red light down there? What is that? What is that? Is that a fish? It's two eyes. I don't know what that is. There's like a red light down there. That's weird. I don't know if I like that. Alright, so we're just about to run out of fuel. And in a few seconds, we will be out of fuel. Our battery will die. And uh, we'll be stranded in the middle of nowhere. Also, what is that island out there? What is that? I don't know what that is. I can't tell from here. Um, that's the creative base. That That is the creative island right there. Uh, right, okay. So, it turns out our engine has, should have just stopped. It will stop any second as soon as the fuel gets through the pipes. And in three, two, one. It should have run out by now, but it isn't. Never mind. Okay, don't know what's going on there. Anyway, we're 4.8 kilometers away. Engine is still running on... Fumes, I guess. That's the only thing it could be running on. Um, oh, this is so annoying. It is so, so frustrating. I don't know whether we can take fuel from here if we don't own it. I'm going to assume we can't. Uh, but I might try. Just in case. Because if we can, that might save the day. But I don't know if we can. Also, it costs too much. We don't have that much money yet. But um, I guess we'll see. I don't know what this is running off. My, my engine is uh, is still not dead. We got no fuel and my engine is still not dead and we've made it another few hundred meters. I'm going to speed up. Maybe we've got more fuel than it says. Maybe we have more fuel than it says. What if? No, we run out. <laughs> we run out. Right, we've got no fuel left. Our RPS is going to go down to zero. Our, our speed is, is definitely close to zero. Our fuel, uh, our battery is very, very low. Um, so all we've got remaining is our hand cranked power and uh, our electric motors, which are not doing their job very well, I don't think. So um, that's good. Very good. All right, you know what, guys? Uh, my computer is really struggling right now with temperature. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to end this video here. This video is going to go out tonight, so I need it right now. Um, and unfortunately, we are nowhere near where we need to be. We have run out of fuel. Our battery is about to run out. And uh, that's really, really sad. So um, we're going to have to see what happens here. We, we are going to have to see what happens here. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what we might do is just leave it AFKing so that we can get all of our battery charge back. Use all of it, and then AFK, battery charge, and then use all of it, and then AFK and battery charge again, and see if that will help. If it does, that'd be great. If it doesn't, sag. But, um, no, I think we got this. It'll be fine. Anyway, for right now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.